Hey guys, it's Abby again, and um, I come to you today with a book review. And I just finished this book a day or two ago, and I really, really loved it. And it is The Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk. And I borrowed this from the library, but I want to get my own copy because I just I really want it. It's such an adorable story. Um, but this book is, I think I'll kind of read you the synopsis because it's a little bit difficult to understand, but this is it, and it says, when Ben and Sorrel on board Fire Drake, this is Ben, this is Sorrel, this is Fire Drake, set out in search of the mythical place where dragons can live in peace forever. Along the way, the three friends encounter fantastic creatures, surprising courage, and one ruthless villain determined to end their quest. Only a sacred destiny can save the dragons in this enchanting adventure about a true meaning of home. This was an amazing story. Like, I love being told amazing stories, and I devoured this book. It was so wonderful. I mean, I know it's in the kids section, but I don't really care. Um, it was just a beautiful book, and I loved all the characters you get to meet in it. Um, the freakish villain in this, his name is Nettlebrand. He is not a dragon. He looks to be a dragon with golden scales, and since those scales are so heavy, he can't fly, so he is like a master of water, and he's just really evil and wants to eat other dragons, and it's just really a wonderful story. You meet so many people along the way. You learn so many myths and fun things, and I just, I really love this book. Um, yeah, so the main characters are Ben, Sorrel, and Fire Drake, and later on you meet Twigleg. He also kind of becomes an important character, and then, um, you know, the, anta the uh, antagonist is Nettlebrand, the villain, and he's like a true villain in this, he's pure evil, and you just hate him, and you want him to, like, die. And then, um, yeah, so I gave this book five stars. I really did enjoy it. Um, I think it's great for any age to read, and it's just, I mean, also, I really love the cover. Like, I give the cover, like, five million stars up, and I give the book five stars, because it was just so good. I really, really did love this, and... I can't wait to finish the Inkheart series because I love Cornelia Funk's writing. Her writing is just so fanciful and wonderful and amazing and you guys just need to read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Like it's awesome. I mean it's a fairly big read but I mean the print's pretty big and everything so yeah and the chapters are fairly short. It'd be great. A really great beginner I'm not saying beginner, but a good chapter book for kids who are really starting to get into chapter books to read. Um, it's really wonderful. I mean, they will just devour it like I did. I don't care how old you are, you need to read these and everything. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that difficult to explain. That's why this book review is not too terribly long. But, like I said, I give this book five stars way up. It's It was wonderful. I, I loved it, and I'm not one to spoil books. And so I don't in my book reviews. And so, because I want to give people something that they may want to read. And like I said, this is just a wonderful, wonderful book. Like, just you get to go so many places around the world and learn about those people and what they do. And you meet so many other characters. They're easy to keep straight and they're fun. So I really recommend you read it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.